Good Life Growing is a social enterprise focused on combating urban decay and food insecurity by way of urban agriculture. Uh, we use a number of sustainable growing techniques ranging from organic soil to hydroponics to aquaponics. Also known as a closed loop system, it allows growers to continually recycle the same water with the help from fish. Forbes and his team use generic hardy goldfish. The water his plants don't suck up is collected back into big fish tanks at the end of the growing bed after the plants purify the water from everything toxic to the fish. The fish's restroom waste then makes the water rich in nutrients the plants need, allowing good life growing to avoid all synthetic fertilizers, and it's pumped back up to the plants in a symbiotic loop. This saves money for good life growing and is beneficial to the environment. Essentially recreating the, the natural phenomena you see in a lake, river, pond, or stream. They're beneficial to the health of their residents too, the citizens of North St. Louis. We started this right around the time that there was a lot of civil unrest here in St. Louis, a lot of disenfranchisement, ultimately stemming from people not having dignifying, consistent work and not being able to be afforded the same opportunities that myself and the other founders had. Good Life Growing teaches volunteers about sustainable agriculture, and they'll take on paid apprentices who work with them to learn the trade and gain a U.S. Department of Labor certification of a grow trainee allowing them to take advantage of entry-level jobs in our growing ag and ag tech sector. And along the way, they learn a living wage salary. We've seen young people from different walks of life look forward to career paths and um, things outside of what they see every day. We go into school systems and other community organizations for enrichment programming. In addition to selling their produce and microgreens to many area restaurants, they also donate a large portion of it. Almost 40% of our food goes to community organizations, institutions like schools and churches. Um, it goes to a lot of food pantries. And we're also sponsored by BJC Hospital System to support and facilitate pop-up produce stands in North St. Louis city communities so that folks that otherwise wouldn't have access to a traditional farm stand can get locally grown food available. They have found yet another way to combat that food swamp and food insecurity. In addition to earning a 2018 ARCH grant, Good Life Growing also won further validation by winning the Old North Storefront Competition. Through that win, they'll be opening up a sustainable grocery, Caddy Corner to Crown Candy Kitchen, in June 2019. In addition to selling sustainable agriculture products and some staples, they'll also be serving ready-to-go healthy food options from Kitchen Culture and Honey and Thyme. And if that isn't enough, they are in construction on a second indoor year-round growing space. They will be located near the riverfront on Lumiere Place Boulevard. The Green Cubator, as they call it, will provide year-round space for more agricultural production, classes, and distribution of their products. Outside of just the, the need to nourish yourself and intake food, to specifically treat food as medicine is critical. I've seen it firsthand where we've had people with high blood pressure just start coming here on Sundays and supplementing their diet and they've reported back that blood pressure goes down. We've seen people start to lose weight by just changing their diet and working a little bit outside. Um, so it was part economics, part passion that just came together and made sense.